Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. This Thursday morning, I hope we are all well and we are still walking the journey uh, through faith. I believe we are still working our faith and we still go back to the story that we read yesterday about the widow who had so many problems because the husband had died and she came to the man of God and requested for him to assist because the debtors had come and they needed to sell the boys so that they can get the money that the husband owed them. Now we looked at what happened at the beginning when this lady opted to go to the man of God and she was instructed on what to do, to go to the neighbors, to borrow very many empty vessels and again to shut the door together with the boys and start uh, emptying or putting this oil in these empty vessels. And then we see what happened is that they kept on putting this oil in the vessels and the, veil, the, 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 the oil was still pouring. So it was not coming to an end. This was a miracle that happened because of that very little faith of a widow and believing in God through the man of God, Elisha. We also said that we need also to focus on Jesus because faith is believing on the unseen. This woman did not query so much, why should I go for the empty vessels? Why should I bother my neighbors? I need money to pay the debts. I don't need the jerrycans. But we see that very little faith, believing, trusting that what the man of God was saying was right, she was able to be brought out of her debts. Today, we are still continuing with the same story. And we said that we must walk the faith. We must believe. Even if the faith is as little as that mustard seed, when we walk it, when we walk through this faith, then we shall be able to move greater mountains. Greater mountains may be challenges that we face in our daily to daily living. Greater mountains are the challenges that come our ways, the storms of life, challenges of high cost of living, challenges of um, sicknesses in our families, challenges of bereavement that sometimes they make us to doubt God, challenges of so many with way, things that are coming our way, even bad religions and bad teachings that are coming our way, even the evil things that are coming, even at being accepted by the leaders of our nation, we must walk the faith. It doesn't matter. The other time we said that faith cannot be covered. It cannot be sealed. Cain tried to kill the brother so that they may cover the faith, but he's still speaking even in death. And therefore we need also to walk the faith. We go through faith without questioning because it shall be revealed to us when we keep believing, when we keep seeking God through the word. So this woman, after she filled all the empty vessels, the next instruction, she went back to the man of God and said, now the, the, the empty vessels are full. There is no more remaining and the oil has stopped pouring. So the man of God gives another instruction. Go and sell the oil, pay your debts, and then the leftover you can spend with your boys. Let us see what God does to us when we keep faith alive when we walk our faith this woman a widow a very poor lady a person who was frustrated and devastated because of the situations she was going ill uh, in probably she had even mental health issues because once when you have a debt it is not possible to sleep well when you are told that your children will be sold that one is also devastating so this lady was maybe even depressed this lady had so many challenges because of what she was going through but let us look at what god does when we walk the faith one this mother was set free from stress because once she got enough 
and sold and paid the debt. Now, what was causing the stress, the causing agent of the stress has now been removed because the debt has been paid. So faith helps us to overcome stress. It makes us free from stress and we are able to work through our needs because we are now uh, free from stress. Another thing that this lady received from believing and having faith in God is that debts are now gone and she has been elevated to become a trader. See what the man of God said, go sell, then the other live on it. In other words, you sell and pay the debt and because it cannot just be sold to pay the debt, it is going to remain, you can keep on selling. So her life was changed from a borrower or from a, a poor person to be a businesswoman. So she's now a trader. She can manage the family. She can raise the children without just borrowing, without uh, holding her cheek and saying, I'm just widowed, without just uh, cursing her life because of the challenge. Many are the challenges we go through. Remember Enoch. In his days, there was a lot of ungodliness. There was a lot of wickedness in the society, but he chose to walk. Look at this woman, a lot of problems. She's widowed. She has been left with the two orphaned boys. She has a lot of debts, but now through faith, that very little faith, he's, she, she is now a trader. She's selling. She's able to raise the family. God has changed her life. And God will still change our lives when we walk with the faith. God has changed the life of this woman from a borrower to a lender. Praise the Lord. I want to believe when she continued with the business of selling the oil. There were so many other people in the society who were coming to her shop to buy the oil. And probably some had no money to pay. And because she had the grace of God extended to her through the man of God and through the little faith that she had, this lady would still lend to them because she knew the power of faith and the power of being blessed by God. So she was able to extend. What does working in faith call? That when we are shown mercy, we show mercy. When compassion is shown to us, we also become compassionate. So this lady now is a lender. She's a businesswoman. She can even uh, extend to other widowed ladies who are in her society. So when we walk faith, God will make us to become lenders and not borrowers. God will make us to overcome our challenges so that we can extend the same grace to others who are not uh, able to have their ends meet. Our God sorts our problems in many ways. Our God is just looking at that very little faith. Do you still have that have very little that little faith? As small as the mustard seed, that is what God is looking at today. Can you walk with that very little faith and know that it is it will move mountains? That's what the Bible says in Matthew 17 and verse 20 and 21. For I tell you truly, if you have as uh, uh, have faith as little as a master had said, you sit, you will say to this mountain, go there and it will go. For there is nothing which is impossible with the faith. It doesn't matter how little your faith is. So God is calling us to walk this faith. This lady had so many problems, financial problems. She had mental issues because of the challenges of debts, which would have led to so many illnesses. Therefore, she would have added on top of the issues of debts, issues of mental issues, she would have come to illnesses because the moment our mind is uh, occupied with a lot of thinking because of challenges, it leads to high blood pressure and ulcers and other forms of diseases that follows on. And then this man, uh, this woman would even have gone even to social problems because not many people love people when they are in challenges. Remember, if she would be passing other women would be pointing at her, the woman 
who is ever in debt, the woman who is widowed, the woman who is unable to raise her two boys. But see what faith does. Walking the faith changed her status. So God is also able to sort your problems today. God is able to sort your issues if you rekindle that very small faith that is in you. That relationship of you and your God is what he is telling you. Choose to do the right thing. Opt to look upon Jesus. Opt to look upon the cross of Christ where our problems are sorted one by one. So let us walk this journey. The widow chose to go to the man of God. Let us choose to go to Jesus. Let us open our hearts to Christ. He is able to sort our problems. Her mental challenges were sorted because when oil started flowing, it started giving her hope. And when it flowed nonstop, she knew that she has to pay her debts and her livelihood has to continue. Her physical pain was also sorted by, by, by the man of God because her sons were never to go hungry again and they were not to be sold. So this shows us the faithfulness of God. When we walk the faith, he's able to pass blessings to the generation. So these boys were to become great because of the faith that he had. So God is faithful. He is a good God and he will man ensure that our generations will not become borrowers, but they shall be lending when we walk the faith. So her financial situations were also restored. The same God who restored her will still restore our financial situations. It doesn't matter how we are going through the challenges of high cost of living, the challenges of a housing levy, the challenges of a, a high cost of fuel, all those challenges, God is able to restore them when we walk the faith. Her relationship were also restored. The debtor did not come again to knock at her door because now God has sorted her problems. So everything we are going through today, let us walk the faith because without the faith, we cannot please God. But with the faith, all things are possible. So may we walk this faith. May we trust this God just like this lady did. Because when we trust in God, all things are possible. What is that? That you feel it is so difficult today? Walk your faith. Rekindle that little faith that is remaining. Please don't doubt. God is able God is working through you to ensure that you can manage to trust him. He who raised Jesus from the dead and he who has put him on the throne, who will come again to judge the living and the dead, he who will repay all our uh, works that we do, he is still at work to ensure that your faith is not failing. So may God bless us as we continue trusting in him and working our faith. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen.